Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSC Patshala. We were studying about machine learning using Python 3 and in this tutorial we will study about NumPy universal functions. So what are u funcs? They stands for universal functions and they are NumPy functions that operates on the n dimensional array objects. So as we know that NumPy is uh, for n dimensional arrays and whatever the operations which we uh, need to perform on the n dimensional arrays for those purposes we are using universal functions so exactly why we are using it uh, let's elaborate more the first thing is uh, they are used to implement vectorization in numpy which is a way faster than uh, performing iteration over the elements that means uh, if you talk about only a list of elements then they are called as a scalar thing but if we include operator also in them so it's called as a vectorization that means uh, the scalar values that means only the list of elements along with the operations which are being applied on them it's called as a vector thing they also provide broadcasting and additional methods like reduce accumulate uh, and uh, as a trial uh, they are very helpful for the computation and uh, these operations we will see in the upcoming lectures u funcs also take additional arguments like uh, for example first one is where where means uh, any any boolean array or condition which defines where the operation should take place okay so where is argument which we will give, uh, give which will give in u funcs in order to see where the operation is need to be performed whether it's been performed on array or somewhere else d type stands for the return type of the elements and out stands for the output array where the return value should be copied all right now what is vectorization? Converting iterative statements into vector based operations is called as a vectorization. So iteration means obviously uh, that means you have been given a list of elements and we need to perform iteration or uh, we need to uh, have a loop for uh, those um, accessing those elements. So it's somehow what used in iterations. Okay, so uh, in order to convert those statements into vector operations, we called this process as vectorization. Now obviously it is faster uh, as the modern CPUs are much more optimized with such vector operations. So let's consider uh, an example that means for example we need to add the elements of two list. Here we are given with list 1 and list 2 that is list 1 is having 1, 2, 3, 4 elements and list 2 are having 4, 5, 6, 7 elements. Now one way is to uh, do uh, this task of addition is to iterate over both the list and find the sum. Okay, so let's uh, implement this code without universal function first we are using python build and zip method to perform this operation so let's consider this code and implement it on jupyter notebook okay so x equal to 1 2 3 4 that means this is a list 1 y equal to 4 5 6 7 this is list 2 and z uh, here we are taking z as an empty list now what we are doing here is we are applying iteration by for loop that means for i comma j in zip we are uh, using a zip method here in zip we are giving x comma y uh, both the list elements then what we are doing we are performing append okay that means the z which list uh, which list is empty we are appending i plus j elements to this list okay so i plus j this means the first index position elements that means one and 4 that means 1 plus 4 is 5 2 plus 5 is 7 3 plus 6 is 9 and 4 plus 7 is 11 we are appending all all these elements to z and then we are printing it all right so let's save this code and run this code so here it is here's the output now uh, we can also perform this operation with the help of a universal function and that is add okay and it, it will obviously produce the same result so let's consider one more code Okay, and we will apply this add operation to it. All right, so here it is. So import numpy as np x that is a first list one two three four, y that is a second list four five six seven and z. Uh, we need to uh, perform the addition of x and y. Assign this uh, these values to z. So z equal to np dot add x comma y. Okay, so this is a straightforward operation. No iteration is required here. Addition will be performed similarly as we did in the above example and then we are printing it. So let's save this code, run this code. So here it is, here is the output, the similar output. 
Now, we can create our own universal functions also. To create our own universal function, we have to define a function first as we do uh, normally uh, in Python. Okay, then we add this defined function to our numpy universal function library with a method that is named as from pi func. Okay, so in this from five punk method we need to take certain arguments and these arguments are first one is the function that is the name of the function or the function which we have defined second is the inputs that means the number of input arguments the, uh, for which uh, we are defining this function okay that means uh, here if you want to perform the add operation we are giving two arrays as an input and the output that means the number of outputs which we are expecting from uh, this function to operate and after that will be produced okay so let's consider a code and then we will understand how to create our own universal function. Okay. So here it is. All right. So import numpy as np. Define this is how we uh, create a function in Python that is define my add. We are just creating a function that is name my add x and y these are the two variables or arguments which are uh, which we are giving to it then we are retaining the value of x plus y okay now what we are doing my add equal to np dot from pi function that means this is the method with which we can create my add as a universal function okay and then we are giving here three arguments that means my add this is the first argument that is the name of the function second we are looking forward to give two list okay which we want to perform add operation and then we are expecting one output after the add operation okay so then at the last we are printing these values by print my add by uh, calling this function in uh, this uh, statement okay and these values will be copied to my add function and uh, then the result will be performed here and uh, then as we have already mentioned in the statement that my ad will become a universal function. Okay, so let's save this code and run this code. So here it is. Uh, see, addition is very much easy. For example, 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8, 3 plus 7 is uh, 10, and uh, 4 plus 8 is 12. So obviously, the outcome is very much easy. Only we need to understand the concepts. Now, if we talk about uh, how to check whether a function is a universal function or not. Okay, so to check this thing, we use type operation. Okay, so let's consider one code and then we will understand how to identify it. So here it is. Import numpy as np print type type np dot add. So uh, here we are uh, trying to find whether add is a, a universal function of numpy or not. So we are using here np dot add with a uh, as an argument given to type. Okay, so let's save this code. And run this code. So here is the output that is it's a universal function. Now, if we want to find that uh, whether it's not a universal function, then what exactly it is? If it, it there is uh, this function is any other function. Okay, so let's consider one more code and uh, let's implement it and check what is the type of the function concatenate. So import numpy as np print type np dot concatenate. So we are trying to find what exactly the type of concatenate is. So uh, we are running it and we are getting the output as class function. So exactly it's a function. It's not a numpy function, numpy universal function. Okay. Now the next thing is if uh, randomly we are looking to find what is the type of a certain function. If it happens that neither it's a universal function nor it's a simple function, then ultimately it will give an error. Okay. So let's consider one more code and uh, implement it here all right so import numpy as np print type np dot xyz see xyz is uh, not uh, any of the named function so after saving this code and running this code so we are getting an error so obviously uh, its definition is not available so uh, again if we want to test a function whether it is universal or not we can use conditional statements also for example if a statement we can use for that so it's better to consider a code and then we will understand how to use a conditional statement here okay so let's consider a code import numpy as np if 
type np dot add is equal to in equal to np dot universal function that means here we are using straightforward approach to check whether the type of np dot add is compared with np dot universal function type if its comparison is found to be true then we will print add is a universal function else we will print it is not a universal function okay so let's save this code and run this code so here it is add is a universal function okay and now we can also implement this uh, code again and with concatenate okay so let's consider this code again and instead of use we can use concatenate then save this code and run this code so concatenate is not a universal function all right so this is about universal functions in umpire we will come up with more exciting lectures thanks for watching kindly do subscribe to my channel